Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 2. So, if you missed Episode 1, I'll link it around in the description or on screen somewhere now for you. I'm just going to play through on normal to jog my memory of what happened in this episode, because I really don't remember. It was a long time ago that I played through this originally. Much love for checking out the video. Let's get this going. They told me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Do you think that's a child down there? She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch. Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? There ain't no Atlas, kid. The name's Frank Fontaine. I had you built! I sent you topside! I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed of. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. Oh. A little reminder there. <laughs> Sally! Sally, come out! She wasn't yours, Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Yeah, the last episode didn't work out too well for us. Just saying. Mademoiselle? Yes? Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept... Je vous en prie. J'insiste. Oh, thank you. Ah, Paris! Let's go. Bonjour, Monsieur Surat. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Elizabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. Nothing good to paint? I mean, you got a pretty nice view here, mate. Just saying. Jesus. Bonjour, Elizabeth. And you paint fruit usually. Hello. See, this guy's got the ideal. This dude. Hello. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh, right, mate. <laughs> oh, if that was the voice she came back with, it would be hilarious. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elizabeth Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you doing? I'm going in here. Oh, no, I guess not. Why? Right. Everyone's so friendly. Et si tu venais boire un verre avec nous Claude Sois pas jalouse, ma petite. C'est pas interdit pour un homme de boire avec deux jolies filles. I won't let me sit down, mate. Sorry, I've got some business to attend to. Viens jouer avec nous, Elisabeth. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Oh, dommage. I guess we speak English, she speaks French. Makes sense. What's up, yo? Everyone knows me so well. Are you a hoe in this town, Elizabeth? Because... Do you have The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton? Désolé, ma petite. Celui-là n'a pas encore été écrit. It's not been written yet. How the hell would you know? Kitty! 
Hey, kitty. Wake up. No. Hmm, is that Elizabeth? It looks like him. Alright. Yeah, are you a ho 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 in this in, in Paris, Elizabeth? Because all the men know you. I can't take it. it won't let me. Why oh, everyone's so happy? It's a poodle. Yo. It's a pretty pleasant exper experience, isn't it, Randy? Yeah, something tells me this is a dream. I honestly do not remember this at all. All right, Disney. Did you buy out Bioshock or something? Even the birds are coming on to us. Right? Stop referencing the main game. Oh, here we go. This is where it's going to get messed up. Oi! Sudden things turn dark. The Lutesses. Elizabeth and Booker. Is that Columbia? I'm moving Sally, on. Wait. Come, back. Come here. Come back. Wait. I was looking at that to be honest. Is that Booker? Looks like it. Um, is he building on fire over here, mate? Sally, stop! Come back! <laughs> Sally, where are you going? Come back! Sally, hold on! Come back! The bottom of me. That ain't very pleasant, but I need to have a look in there just for the lols. No? No. Let's keep moving. That's what I'm talking about, grim and disgusting. Where did she go? Forget the blue tits, show me the ravens and crows. Book could do it. Uh oh. Ah! Hey! I mean, it kind of was your fault. Sorry. You cranked up the thermostat. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. I was there, mate. I watched it happen. Now you totally cocked me, remember? Um, no. Mate. What's the hold up? Just having a bit of a laugh at us. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? Booker? Uh, what? Say, I don't I understand. Get, How? Say. I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back 
to rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten them. Damn. I guess your mama never taught you to never hit a lady. Elizabeth. Come on, it's time to get moving. Looker? What? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. Myself into. I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. Comstock. That final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Jeez, look at the size of his hands. Freaking meathead hands. Anyway. Let's do some stuff. Playing as Elizabeth. I honestly don't remember this episode. I mean, it has been a few years. And I only played through it once. I wonder what was coming out around the same time. So I was probably busy trying to get involved with the next game. I guess I'm moving this out of the way. But first, what's it be? Absolutely nothing. All right. Keep moving. I was in Paris. I, I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth. Well, you were giving me some pretty good instructions earlier, mate. Press N. Oh. Have we got different controls for Elizabeth? Because that should be bound to something else. Huh. How about... Alright. So we can go and mess with that, but... Oh no, we can't go down there. You know I've got to explore. It's just in my nature. Exactly what to tell Atlas. Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth. I feel. I feel <coughs> so strange and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Ugh. Oh my god. Stay away from me. No, no, please, please. 
Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that. Stay away from me! Oof. Then how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... My finger. What am I? I don't understand. I... I... If we're going to end up in the same place, it needs to be hard to hide. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things. But after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton. Especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't remember shit. But I'm off, I guess. Take care, guys. You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. All right, then. This is the lighthouse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can I see the water? No. It's pitch black up there. Let's go on. Lutessa's warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse. From a, a, a quantum superposition <laughs> to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. I mean, it, it, if I can't open tears, I, I'm never leaving here, am I? I'm never going back to Paris. You and you, you're just you. You're just what? You, you're you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds. You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Cha. Okay. Pulling that leave. Goddamn Bioshock Infinite is confusing. Like, did anybody understand it first time through? Like, anybody at all? I feel like the developers were just kind of lost as well, but it's still a great game. Not knocking it. <clears throat> Maybe it all will become clear. Probably not, though. Probably should have pulled this level where that dialogue was going on because there's bugger all going on now. Whatever. Aha! I am self. A man the right to feel like a man. I think I'm gonna have to use this air grab. His family is taking it. It's gonna be messy, I don't know if I'll blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. Come on! Let's work something out. Well, all I did was turn around. Where's the air grabber? That's the question. I don't see it. He knows where I am now, anyway, fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, mate. <coughs> Do we have an air grabber? I guess we've already got it. No, no, you didn't. What are you talking about? You'll want to get the drop on him and quiet. He can't hear what's only 
in your head. Oosh. Well, he's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body? From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Children. Hmm. Clay. Ryan the Lion reminds you, parasites are never welcome. Up to us to see they become Grecian eyes. Don't return. You can mold them for life. It's kind of messed Henry, up, buddy. Fetch that black label lackeys. The twelve-year-old single mom. Dink. Now let's get his lockpick. Yeah, I got his lockpick, but I want to have a look around first. I will not share my toys. Corner of shame. Mrs. Turner. Wait, today, uh, today's art lesson draw a parasite you met today, Mrs. Turner. <laughs> Daddy's girlfriend. Mommy. Well. Mommy's a parasite. Oh, candy bar. Nom nom nom. Let's get Elizabeth fat. Is that a vent? Oh, yeah, I think that's. Isn't that where we just dropped out of? Oh, come on, let me play basketball. I can't even move the basketball. Hey! There you go, up there. See if we can get it in the hoop. Probably not, but... Oh, mate. <laughs> I could do that for hours, to be honest, but I know you'll get bored. Give, we'll give it a few more goes, right? Let's try and get it in the right place. Mate, it goes high. Oh, that was... I thought it was going to ricochet in. That would have been legendary. Oh. Watch there be an achievement tied to this, but oh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, is there a reason for doing this? Press C while airborne to, airborne to land quietly in a crouch. Okay, I got you. Yeah, Elizabeth has different controls by the looks of it. Anywhere else we need to look? I, I don't think so. Like, that's where we just came from, and the other entrance is on the other side. Lock picking can be easy with the right tools and know how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Well, let's not use the red pins then. Simple enough. Just a six pin tumbler. <sighs> There's an alarm. Huh. That could come in handy though. Press F to probe a neutral pin and open the lock. A red pin will open the lock, but also sound the alarm. Yep. So, just any of the non-red ones, I guess. We did it! It's crazy how the mechanics are so different for this. <coughs> so we can carry medkits in this? Alright. And it say press C? C makes me crouch. That don't make much sense. No. Maybe hold C? That don't work. That's where it said C, right? Oh, whatever. Sick controls. If I can afford to see the doctor, is it my concern that others cannot? No, says the damnable parasite. We must all crowd our way into the physician's office. Ryan the lion says, chew on that, you parasite. Hmm. All right, Ryan, chill out. Brainwashing the kiddies. I can't finish the equation. Well, there's no 11 square, so I guess not. Communion, or communism, yeah, is a sham, outdated, is a mistake, yeah, I think that's what it says. No or not good, delusion, hypocrite, a lie to people, inverted by parasites, or invented by parasites, property, theft, yeah, a stupid idea is stealing, empathy for weak people is for the unfit, what did that say underneath there, I can't remember, not a value. Dragged you down. It's for parasites. It's stupid. Not positive. Not virtue. 
Wait. <laughs> what was that? You know, don't you? The, the doors, they're, they're, they're cracking open. My memories of the future and, and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future you're looking at? Oops. If not mine, then, then whose? Ryan, the lion, always shoot to kill. They were training kids to shoot. I mean, what the fuck is this? It's a little bit weird. Whatever, buddy. Hey, crossbow. Yoink. You sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? The same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And what it's does up to you. A stealthy approach is safer and more efficient. Sneak up on foes and perform a melee attack to knock them out. If you're spotted, get out of sight and keep quiet. Those who right. do not create will always steal from those who do. Where is Hello. The while he picks your pocket. Yeah, ready for my stealth skills. It's not You'll walk in the water, that's gonna set people up. -E. Alright. Shut up now. <laughs> Down she goes. Ooh, hand cannon. Can I carry... To access all your weapons, hold E to bring up the weapon menu. Okay. I'm good. I'll save my bolts. No free lunch. I've got the crossbow ready if I need to shoot this guy, but let's see if we can just knock him out. You never know. Where'd he go? We could come back and search this place in a minute, I guess. Hand cannon ammo. Huh. Below decks. That's what this is. Unfounded crying into my respectable entrepreneurial. Ladies' shoes. Why are ladies' shoes worth money in this? Maybe that's a stupid question. Me, you're against a guy making an honest Think. buck. Shut up. <laughs> He's snoring. Uh open that I guess. I don't hear anyone else. I feel like I want to quickly go back and search that other room before I end up rummaging around you. I think I'm good to do that now. Can't run in this place. Or maybe I just can't run at all. I still don't know how to use my med kits. It said C but that just makes me crouch. Press all my mouse buttons see if I've got something bound there. Nope the hell? The heroes of Rapture, traitors of Rapture. Oh, it's Tenenbaum. Bitch. <laughs> we got Cohen there. Ryan Visionary. Pfft. Yeah, right. Oh, um. And where this leads. Have a little search. Never hurt anybody. Um, alright, we've got two different ways to go. Well, that just leads us out here, but we're on this ledge now. Oh, med kit. I got two of those that I can't use. Trank ammo. That'll do, I guess. There's a sky hook there, though. Probably could have just jumped up there. Don't see anything along those walls or whatever. Yeah, I can land over there if I want, but there's nothing there. Need to remember to crouch when I land, I guess. Let's swing a right here and see what we can find. Hmm. Ooh, stuff. And things. Beautiful. This is where we came in, isn't it? Alright, I feel like we've done a good job of searching this place. Let's get moving. There's probably something I missed somewhere, but oh well. I tried to keep my eyes peeled. Let's have a little uh, look around here. In here, then. 
dollars, other things. Proper discipline. Official procedure for problem children. Use of possession is advised. Wow. <laughs> really brainwashing the kiddies. Uh, 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 sounds like today's average YouTube channel. <laughs> ah, well, we just gotta hope that the copper laws that come in in January screw them all over. <laughs> and stop making you content aimed at 10 year olds and making tons of money from it, which they really don't deserve. Uh, makers and takers. This week's maker, this week's taker. Ugh. Open the door. Look, Su Chong, that's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker. When you drowned some Over a year from now. Yeah, that that that's right. I <laughs> When I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense, but now, now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. How? We got a film to watch. Let's go. Free men and free markets. Are you in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine. No. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. Now you know. Okay, what can we buy from the vending machine? To the Sandwich for two dollars. Oh, let's top up the elf, seeing as I can't use friggin' health. So is Booker not around in this one? No no like I said, I really don't remember. But I did say we can buy Eve there, so I'm guessing I get some sort of use of plasmids. <coughs> Got me a dollar. There's another one of these. Sex without compromise? In the know. What? Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Sex is egotistical. Without self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. Intercourse can be mutually beneficial to both parties. <laughs> Set out expectations with your partner beforehand, <laughs> outlining the services you will provide one another, and hold them to their side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your pleasure is your business. Remember, you come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left high and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy sexual congress the rapture way. Listen, love. Now you know. If you don't make me come five times, I'm kicking you right out. And you're fired. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny. Lift door. Wet. Uh, Alright, that's one way to go. And there's also this place. Oh, look. It's 
sneaky stuff. Thank you. You just jump down here. Soft landing. Open up. Knock, knock. <laughs> Before we have sex, let's come to an agreement. Right after I came through, I needed... I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. When you came here. <laughs> to get the farmer's daughter ready to get down and dirty below decks. Mother May one what? Coeds. It's never too late for education. The pearly gates, Jesus. Gender bender. Liberation found fathoms below. Meet Chris, who sexually knows no boundaries. All right, let's not uh, get into that before someone leaves a comment like, "What? I can't wear women's clothes if I want." Wow. <laughs> he didn't have these books in my tower. I'm sure they didn't. Probably would have been a very different outcome if you did when we arrived. And also, that would have been gross. <laughs> Incest is not good, everybody. Today's life lesson. Yeah, these bindings are weird. Dear madam, I have received your letter regarding our new line of peeping tom plasmids and wish to respond thusly. Tough luck. This is rapture, miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling uncomfortable, <laughs> you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish, I could direct you to a reputable supplier. Okay. I think maybe I should play through this part before we do the next video. You know, this place smells of demonetization just a little bit. And if it's later in the video, uh, there's less risk. <laughs> Just saying. No blue ones? Stay away from the reds. Stay away from the reds. Oh, i got to press F. ka Alright. In we go. Let's go get this plasmid then. Peeping Tom. Disappear from sight. See through walls. And sneak up on your foes. Jesus. <laughs> Okie doke. Oi. Splicers. I could use this plasmid and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. Alright, yep, yep, yep. I know how plasmids work. <laughs> but first. <clears> hmm. <throat> Putting this on? Guess not. Necklace. Audio diary. I gotta press this to play it. How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen! But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first I was gonna toss that thing. <laughs> But then, I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old timey number with a cord. What? All right, yeah, I know how to use it. No uh oh. It ain't exactly a nice fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. You got what it takes. Uh oh. I can't run. Why can't I run? It's, actually, yeah, we can. It's just not bound to the right thing for me. Oh, fuck it. I don't need your permission, dickhead. Ow. Alright, boys. What did you mean before when you said you were in Paris? It wasn't really Paris. It was more... It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. If you say so. Before we go, I think I'm going to take a look at my bindings for this. Because they're all wrong. Which is annoying. I could just, I'll do it off screen, to be honest. Seems like the easier way forward. Let's just get out of Demonetizationville. And uh, I'll start up the next video soon. Safe and sound. Alright. 
Leave in sexy town. See, I think you've got to hold this to stay invisible. Yeah, okay. I'm learning. <laughs> Man, that used a lot of Eve. Just holding it for a few seconds. Oi, oi! For Dundee. For Dundee. For Dundee. Never saw it coming. <laughs> I'm coughing a lot this video, too. Did we search in here? The Lion Preparation Academy. I don't think we did. Let's have a little look. Been going for a little bit longer than I'd like to here. But I'm gonna guess this part of the game's gonna be like three videos, just like the other one was. Oh no, we did look through this. Yeah, we have been here. My bad. Just looked different from coming through that door. I think we need to go to that elevator, right? Ugh. Alright, let's open this shit. <laughs> Is there a blue? Oh, blue ones. Hey, hey. I've got a noise maker. You've acquired a noise making device. Make sure it's equipped and fire it at the windows to the right to draw the splices from your path. Or to draw their path. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it's equipped right now. Stupids. Probably just kill him, to be honest. But. That's it. We're through. Where's my normal bolts gone, though? I guess it doesn't want me to attack them or something. <clears throat> I could see everything, every possible moment. And now you're just like everyone else. Why? Why? Because I died here. If I'm just like everyone else, I can't help Sally. I can't even get back to where I was. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? <laughs> if I had pegged you for a loon, I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. I'll hold up my end, but I better find the girl the way I left her. You're in no position to make demands. But I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. Shut up, Alice. Oh, there's Buckle. Is that Buckle? Oh, I'll take possession, though. I mean, I, I like standing here listening to music in games. It used to be something I'd really enjoy doing, but... Copyright! Yeah, mate, the guy who sings that song's like, No, I'm gonna take everybody's video to that gym! It's him. It's the Big Daddy. The one that killed me. You can't trade blows with him. Comstock put him down and he got right back up. I can't hurt him. I could keep my distance, but if I watch myself, he could come in handy. Enemy of my enemy. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I'm afraid that's it for this video, so, uh... Let's open up a menu or something before more dialogue happens and... I can't talk over it or whatever. Yeah, much love for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in that comment section what you thought, if you can. If you're new around here, you might want to subscribe. If you're feeling generous. Also, if you've been around my channel for a while and you'd like to be notified of new uploads, don't be shy to turn notifications on. You do that by pressing the little bell next to the subscribe button, I guess. There'll probably be some options along with that as well. Again, much love for watching. Have a great day. And until next time, take it easy.